Summary of Look Back in Anger by John Osborne The protagonists of Look Back in Anger are a young English married couple named Allison and Jimmy Porter, who are attempting to deal with the challenges of class conflict and a falling marriage in 1950s England. Allison was born into a family that was traditionally considered to be of the upper class. Jimmy is highly educated, but he comes from a working-class family. The couple lives with Cliff Lewis, a friendly worker who has been Jimmy's friend for a long time. The scene starts in the flat on a Sunday morning. Cliff and Jimmy read the newspaper while Allison irons clothes. The first act of the play is mostly made up of Jimmy's angry rants about the upper class and his wife's lack of enthusiasm. Jimmy thinks that pain is the only way to truly feel what it's like to be human. He also thinks that Allison and other people from the upper class are less alive than he is because of this. He also seems to miss an older time in Britain when the country was stronger. As the act goes on, Jimmy's efforts to shock his wife into showing some feeling get worse. He insults her family and says that all women want to destroy men. In order to cheer Jimmy up, Cliff starts to joke around and roughhouse with his friend. When they land on Allison's ironing board, her arm gets burned. Jimmy tries to say sorry, but she yells at him to leave, so he gets up and leaves. Cliff helps Allison with her burn, and she tells him that she is pregnant with Jimmy's child. She hasn't told Jimmy yet because she's afraid he'll get angry and feel stuck. Cliff tells Allison that Jimmy loves her and tries to make her feel better. He lip smacks her. Jimmy walks in while they are kissing, but he doesn't say anything or stop them. The three of them don't live in a typical way, which would have surprised viewers at the time. Cliff then goes to get some cigarettes, and Allison and Jimmy have a sweet moment together. They play their bear and squirrel game, which lets them pretend to be animals and show love. Then Cliff comes back and says that one of Allison's rich friends, Helena Charles, is calling. Jimmy's mood changes right away. Jimmy goes crazy when Allison says that Helena wants to stay with them. He says that he wishes Allison would have a baby that would die so she could know what real pain is like. At the beginning of the second act, Helena and Allison take turns doing housework while Jimmy plays his trumpet off stage. Helena asks Allison about the first few months she spent with Jimmy. They lived with his working class friend Hugh Tanner and went on raids to parties of Allison's upper class friends. She says she felt like a prisoner of those parts of society against which they had declared war. Helena asks them why they got married, and Allison says that it seemed to be mostly because Allison's mother and her father Colonel Redfern didn't like it. So, no matter what, Jimmy wanted to marry her. Cliff and Jimmy come in to eat. Jimmy is also sure that Helena wants to take Allison away from him when he hears that she and Allison are going to church together later that day. He says a bunch of horrible things about Allison's mother. Helena tries to talk to him, but she can't. Jimmy then asks her if she has ever seen someone die. He talks about how, when he was 10 years old, he saw his father die from wounds he got fighting in the Spanish Civil War. He says that this taught him more about life than Helena and Allison know even now. Jimmy leaves near the end of the scene to go get the phone. While he's gone, Helena tells Allison that she sent a message to Colonel Redfern asking him to come get Allison. Allison does not say anything. When Jimmy comes back, he tells Hugh that his mom, a working-class woman who helped him get his candy stand started and for whom he has a lot of love, is dying of a stroke. He asks her to come with him to the hospital. She goes to church instead. Jimmy is left on stage by himself. In the next scene, Colonel Redfern helps Allison pack so she can leave. He says that he and Allison's mother responded too strongly to her marriage to Jimmy and that Jimmy might have been right to be angry with them. He says that he thinks Jimmy might be right that Redfern is a remnant of an old England that no longer exists. He also says that he and Allison usually don't have strong opinions about things and try to stay neutral. When he tells her this, she is surprised, and as she finishes packing, she thinks for a moment about not moving. Helena then comes in, and Allison chooses to leave. She tells Cliff goodbye. Helena stays behind because the next day she has a work meeting. 
Allison and Colonel Redfern leave, and Cliff goes before Jimmy comes back because he is upset that Helena has messed up their lives. A few minutes later, Jimmy comes back, angry because he saw Allison leave with her father on his way home. Helena gives him a letter that Allison wrote to tell him why she made her choice. Jimmy is upset by how nice and quiet she is. Allison is going to have a baby, Helena tells him. He says that this news doesn't make him sad and insults Helena, so she hits him. This makes Jimmy so sad that he breaks down. Then Helena kisses him passionately, and the act is over. A few months have passed, and when the scene starts, it looks a lot like the beginning of Act 1, except that Helena is now ironing. Jimmy and Cliff make jokes and talk about news stories. They fight, and Cliff gets his shirt dirty. Helena leaves the stage to clean it, and while she is gone, Cliff tells Jimmy he is leaving. Jimmy doesn't understand why he always picks women over male friends, especially since he likes Cliff's company more than Helena's. Helena brings back the shirt, and Cliff goes to his room to dry it. Helena tells Jimmy she loves him, and Jimmy begs her to stay with him forever. Then Allison walks up to the door looking sick and messy. After a few minutes, the next scene starts with Jimmy playing his trumpet off stage. Allison tells Helena that she is not mad at her and is not trying to break up the new pair. Helena, on the other hand, says that being around Allison has made her realize that what she is doing is wrong. Allison also lost a pregnancy, and Helena sees this as a judgment on her relationship with Allison. She calls Jimmy back and tells him she is leaving. Jimmy says he always knew Helena wasn't strong enough for true love, which takes muscle and guts. Helena goes away. Allison says she's sorry, and Jimmy says she should have sent flowers to Hugh's mom. He remembers their first meeting, when he thought she had a wonderful relaxation of spirit. He says that this was just a case of being lazy. Allison cries and tells him that the death of their child has helped her understand how deeply he has always wanted her to feel. She tells him she wants to be corrupt and useless, and then she falls down at his feet. Jimmy can't stand to see her like this, so he gets down on his knees to help. Then, with a kind of mocking, tender irony, he begins their pretend game with a bear and a squirrel. Poor squirrels, he tells Allison. She replies, poor, poor bears. About the author. John Osborne was born in southwest London to a lower middle-class family. When he was 12 years old, in 1941, his father died. Osborne went to a public, not state-run, high school for a short time, but he was kicked out after two years when he hit a teacher who was trying to punish him. In 1950, when he was 21, he wrote his first play. Around the same time, Osborne also married Pamela Lane, an actor. The movie Look Back in Anger is based on their rocky relationship in a general way. It was first put on stage in 1956. Osborne wrote it in 17 days while he was on vacation. The play made Osborne, who was 26 at the time, famous and started a new age of British theatre in which working-class people were the main characters in plays set in the modern world after World War II. Osborne went on to write a lot more plays and a two-volume autobiography, in which he said that he hated his mother very much. Osborne got married five times, and at the end of his life, he was happily married to Helen Dawson, who was an art reviewer. He died in 1994. Look Back in Anger is still by far his most well-known piece of writing. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.